Hi guys, Karen here with another video. Welcome back to our channel and thank you so much for watching. And today we are making an easy vegan pancake. I was thinking about doing this because Mother's Day is coming up. You can also use it for Father's Day. Um, and uh, I've been seeing like recipes and I was like, that is so complicated. It, but you can make it really, really easy. I've been using this pancake recipe now for, ooh, like 17 years, 17, 18 years. And it's my go-to every time, really simple. You can mix it up. So I have four cups of all-purpose flour here, but you can, sometimes I'll do two cups of all-purpose, two cups of whole wheat pastry flour because it's lighter, or you can do two cups of all-purpose flour and then do two cups of almond flour, whatever flours you like. Um, you can mix and match. You can also half the recipe. It's really simple. You're going to need a tablespoon of baking powder, and that's going to give you the lift. That's it. You're going to need a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of whatever sweetener. I have sugar here, and four cups of water, and then um, half a, not half a cup, but one fourth, um, one fourth to a half a cup of oil, whatever type of oil you like. And... Karen, do not forget your extract. I'm using lemon today, but you can use vanilla extract if you like or whatever extract you want. This is really simple. It's like a, what do you call it? Just dump it all in and, and you're ready to go. So first off, I'm just going to add a quick teaspoon of salt. Maybe just a little bit more. I'm going to add my sugar. And then I'm going to add the oil. And this is a great time to use your, sorry, I'm eyeballing it. That's enough. Um, this is a great time to use your La Crusade uh, griddle pan. Um, today I'm actually gonna use my cast iron skillet because I've been using it for years and it works. <laughs> and I'm gonna add that tablespoon of baking powder. A tablespoon of baking powder and just goes in. And now you're going to slowly add your four cups of water. So with the water, you're going to add water until you get to the desired consistency of your pancake. If you like a thicker pancake, you may not need all four cups of water. I like mine a little thinner. So I'm going to mix this all up and show you guys what that looks like. So this is now um, the consistency that I like. It's going to make a very, not super thin pancake, but... And if you wanted to, you can also add blueberries to this now or whatever type of, if you wanted to add a fruit or if you wanted to add like um, a little bit of cinnamon or just some type of spice, you can do that now. Now you just put it into your skillet. This probably makes mm, about 20 pancakes. If you don't need that many, like I said, you can half the recipe. And um, if you want to, you can add blueberries to this. You can add... Uh, cinnamon or any type of spice that you like um, this is the the time where you can add all the fun stuff if you want to chocolate chips if you want it to um, but um, the next time you see this they will be pancakes it's really simple you're gonna let the pancake cook until you see bubbles on the bottom or what facing you and then you just flip it over it's a really simple recipe guys so this is the final product this is um, your, I've saved this space because I have something else we're gonna put here, but this is maple syrup and we have like a blueberry compote going on. Um, and, uh, and you know, this is, the hubster's gonna get this plate, so he's pretty excited. And so he can put either one of those on there. You can also make like a breakfast bar and in it, um, serve the pancakes, put all your fruit out, all the toppings for your pancakes. That would be really fun, especially if you're inviting, bun uh, you know, uh, everybody over for Mother's Day or Father's Day to celebrate. It would be really fun. Um, but I did want to put out this very easy and simple uh, pancake recipe for if you're vegan. If you're not vegan, it works just the same. It's still good. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.